All right, so this time we're just going to jump into something that is uh, key to real estate agents, and that's the listing presentation. Some people call it the appraisal, appraisal of the house, listing presentation, um, agency interview. So we all know what we're talking about. What I'm going to look at here is actually using a reference. So I think there's a very good training book out there, uh, which is The Way of the Wolf, uh, Jordan Belfort. And if you can translate it into real estate, which is actually quite easy to do, I think it's magic. And basically what he's working on there, what he's suggesting and what he used in his own company, and they're very successful, obviously, uh, crazy movie, was uh, straight line selling. And this is a straight line selling technique. And now as you go into the listing presentation, uh, then they look at the structure of it. And if you study it, it will normally be the opposite structure to what I see most real estate salespeople, most real estate agents do. Most real estate agents, they'll get in there. Uh, the first part when they sit down talks about your property. So they're looking at the vendor and go, so your property, and they talk about it. Uh, when I've witnessed this, I've thought, oh, that's sort of a bit lost because they know this property. They know it better than you do. And there's a danger you're going to miss something. So you've got to be very careful with that. And also, I don't know about the quality of the photos at that stage. They go, oh, it's not the greatest photo. Uh, but they talk about their property, you know, the vendor's property, and straight after that, normally jump into where the value sits. And that will look at what's sold, what's on the market now. And here's, here's a, a table uh, in New Zealand currently that tells you here's the value of your property. Now, that's normally the point where you win or lose the listing. You're either too low uh, or too high and they think you're ridiculous or you hit it on the mark and you get the listing, yeah? If you're too low and other people are coming in higher, the vendor's probably going to go with them. Whether they are right or wrong, the vendor's going to go with them. That's just the, the nature of the psychology behind it. So they would then look at it or Jordan would look at it and say, don't do the hard things up front. Do the easy things first and the hard things at the end. So where you get the most objections, do that last. Least objections, do that first. So if I look at his structure, the logical sequence would be, in my mind, starting with questions, getting an understanding from the vendor what's important to them, and I'll go back over the questions. So I'm going to jump back in uh, and just give you number one as an example. But first up would be questions, not telling them about their own property. They know about that. Next one would be how to sell what the methods of sale are. And again, you shouldn't get too many objections on that. Uh, if you've asked the questions up front, you'll know some of the answers. Next one after that, advertising. Uh, here's what marketing looks like, et cetera, et cetera. Now, you might get bounced a little bit on the cost of it, uh, but it's, yeah, it's something you're going to have to deal with. Next up, fees. And I'll put fees before I talk about the value of the property. Once you've spoken about the value of the property, you can calculate the fees. But if you look at the fees and what's done for the fees, you may get through with least objections. And then it's the value of the property. And you may well at this point come unstuck, but you're actually dealing with it in the right sequence. Uh, and then the last one I'd put in there is solutions. So if I give you those again, you start with the questions. Understanding from the vendor what's important to them. Jordan would say, gather massive intelligence. So you learn everything you can. So questions, really good questions. Next is how to sell, method of sale. Number three, advertising, marketing. Number four, your fees and what you do for them. Number five, the value of your property. Number six, the solution. That's us. Here's what we do. So if I take you back and I just uh, sort of expand on that first one, questions, here's the sort of questions you could ask. And I believe at the very first contact, you need to understand where the vendor believes the value of the property sits. Uh, in my mind, I think they all have a, a, an idea, a figure there. And I think everybody's trying to dodge sharing what that number is. Um, but if you understand that, you can give them guidance if that's right or wrong. And an easy question is, to a vendor, just so I save you time, I don't waste your time as we go through, time is money. Uh, what range should I bring the comparables or the solds in? You know, are we one to two million? Are we two million to three million? Where do we sit? And then getting the vendor to give you some guidance. Now, if they say 1.8, 
then you know you probably won five to two million in that range. You're going to start searching because it should, in fact, point you in the right direction of where the answer is. So that's uh, that's one question early up. Now, when I sit down with them in the house, uh, here's some good questions. I think they're good questions. Uh, ask them. So, what's important to you guys? What do you like and what don't you like? What do you like about real estate agents? What don't you like? What do you want? What do you not want? And you get their list. And that may give you ideas around communication, uh, viewings, price quoting. Uh, it could be anything. And you're just going to have to take all your notes at that stage. This is not the point where you're coming up with solutions. This is the point at which you're gathering intelligence and understanding what's important to the vendor. Next one uh, would be, uh, what do you guys know about selling? Yeah, what, What's your thoughts around an auction? What's your thoughts around price by negotiation? What's your thoughts around putting a price on it? And what's your thoughts around uh, yeah, a deadline sale, set data sale? Get your, their understanding of how those different methods of sale work because there may be some myths in there and they may be entirely wrong but I've got to discover that early in the piece. And next one, uh, what do you know about marketing, guys, for real estate and selling houses? And then obviously we know from our side it's quite expensive now. It's going to be digital. It's going to be social. So that's going to be your uh, – you're going to have fun. That's going to be your Facebook and your Google Ads. It's going to be print, still a place in there. And then I would suggest you're talking about compounding value. <coughs> Excuse me. Compounding value. So with compounding value, what I'm looking at there is the understanding that if I put digital and print together, it has far greater impact than just digital or just print. So asking them around that. Uh, now, by the time you've answered all those or asked those questions and the vendor has answered them, you now know what they like, what they don't like. You know their experiences in real estate uh, that have been good and bad. Have they been to auctions? Have they been as a buyer? Have they been as a seller? What did they like? What didn't they like? What did they believe what happened? Maybe you can clarify that or show that your process is different. With advertising, uh, yeah, fair to say most people go, yeah, we, we love it as long as it's free. But if they can understand the value of it and they can see that you understand the value of the marketing, I think you've got a, uh, a lot more traction there getting the job. So just to recap and go back, first one up was the questions, understanding from them, then going into second one and do how to sell. So now this is your listing presentation uh, and you talk about method of sale. You'd say, okay, appreciate your observations here. Here's a structure, if it was auction, that would be different to what you've experienced. So let me just take you through that process and getting the tick off on that. And if you've logically got a great structure, they'll go, okay, that makes sense. Next one is advertising. And you say, let me just take you through the advertising so that we make more uh, eyes on your property than the competing properties. And we get people to see it in more different places so they are reminded and they come back to it, et cetera, et cetera. Fees. Uh, and I know there's uh, some nice words out there, success fees, et cetera. The fee is the fee. Uh, or this is your investment uh, around advertising. Uh, look, it's a cost. Yeah, it really is a cost. Uh, and same with fees. It's going to be a cost sitting in there. But it is what do you do for it? And just go through everything. Most vendors don't understand. They think the job's easy. And every agent now in today's world knows that it is complex, it's detailed, it's time-consuming, uh, and it's fraught with some danger. So you do need to get paid for what you do. And emotionally, you invest a lot of energy uh, into it, and you need to get rewarded for that. And then we now we're getting to the point where we go, okay, here's the value of your property. Now, if you think about the normal structure, that's been normally second up. First up has been, here's your property, and us being a parrot telling you about it. Second one is, now I'm going to tell you what it's worth. So by this stage, if it's further down the track, we've developed some rapport, we've got an understanding, we've demonstrated value, and we're saying, hey, look, the whole decision isn't made on who thinks your property is worth the most. It's who's best to go to market with. And now under the value of property, I'll just give you a little uh, one in there that I think does work really well, and it makes sense to me. 
is I'll say to a vendor, uh, along with understanding where the range should be, I'll say to the vendor, when we sit down and talk about value, uh, I'd like to see what your comparables are, where, what your feel of value is and why. Uh, and then we can have a look and make some discovery on that. Maybe something I've missed or it may be something where you were somebody implied a price was on a property and it wasn't quite right. So we'll dig into that. Um, but I really do need to put this data on the table and your data of, Wayne, we've seen this and that sold for that. So therefore, we think we're this. So it is the value of the property, the CMA, and sharing the thoughts around that as you go. And then the last one is the solution. Now, honestly, if they're going to run with the method of sale that uh, you're really good at, and they're going to do enough marketing to get exposure to the market, and you're confident with the property and the price, then your solution should be you. If it isn't, you should say, hey, this is not really my gig. Um, you're going to get annoyed with me. If you're thinking uh, off market or no marketing on it, and it's a general, uh, let's find somebody that's happy to do that, has the time to do that. I'll only do sole agencies. Uh, so wherever you pitch is, be honest. If it doesn't suit you, tell them. Because um, you, you guys are going to work that out in very short time working together anyway. But normally your solution can be, once you understand them, if you're skilled in real estate, that you can do the job. And then you show them how you are different from the other guys. And had the comment on the weekend, uh, I don't think the normal agent, average agent, typical agent is what a vendor is looking for. I think they're looking for somebody that's different. And I think when you're dealing with buyers, they're exactly the same. They gravitate more to a person that's got skill, knowledge, and they're easy to deal with. Yeah. So I think your vendor is going to be exactly the same as that. So there we go. Hopefully that's been uh, helpful. Uh, if you want to get the full book, just go and grab it online, Way of the Wolf, Jordan Belford, and I would highly recommend it. So there we go. Short, sharp session. Thank you. Easy. One coffin.